The one time that everyone's talking on this fucking group chat, we're not. <laughs> oh my fucking god. They were just waiting for us to record. <laughs> no, they're like, yeah. okay, okay, they're in the chat. Let's go and let's all talk now. <laughs> right? Now that the boys are away, the polycule can play. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Is there a ghost behind you? No, not a ghost. How spooky. <laughs> spooky. This is a spooky episode of the Strawberry Boys. Welcome to the Spookberry Boys. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> We're ghosts. We're ghosts. We're coming to you from beyond the grave, from Tyler's QR code graves, <laughs> to give you spooky portents. <laughs> <laughs> We're here to give you the spookiness that you want and the spookiness that you need. I'm here to rip the flesh off your bones and fuck it. <laughs> Whoa, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Katya line. I can't take credit for that. Uh, yeah, it's your joke completely. Fuck Katya. Oh my god. Just that kidding. Not we, love her. we love her. We love her. We love Katya. She's the spookiest queen. <laughs> She's one of the spookiest. <laughs> so spooky. Mm -hmm. So this is the Halloween episode of our podcast. Yeah, so we're keeping it holiday themed. Clearly you can tell this is our Arbor Day episode. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try and keep it spooky this episode. We're gonna we're gonna get into the Halloween spirit. Yeah, we love Halloween. Every every Gay people love Halloween, especially, I feel like. Gay people fucking love Halloween. Like, it's no no kidding. Yeah. It, which is cool, because Halloween is lit. Where do you think that comes from, though? Is there, like, a deep-rooted thing there? Or is it just, like... What, of why Halloween is lit? Or why gay people like <laughs> why Halloween? Why gay people like Halloween? I think gay people like Halloween because uh, they can um, they can finally crochet that uh that mug <laughs> what it's it's a mug made out of fabric <laughs> well, that sounds like a great uh, christmas gift yeah well i mean yeah it is halloween so you have to get ready for christmas <laughs> yeah. i have i have halloween parties but it's all um christmas themed <laughs> yeah exactly like it's all about like christmas shopping <laughs> yeah. actually that's like, not a bad idea it's like, uh, we, so I tell my friends like, okay, here's the address. And I give them, I don't give them like an address. I give them coordinates and I tell them like, come to this place at 8 15 PM on the darkest f Saturday in October. And then, um, when they arrive, I I'm just at a Walmart and I'm like, we're going Christmas shopping. <laughs> that is cool and all, but like, I think this is what you should start doing. So you guys all, you can invite all your friends to your house. You're like. Everyone dress up. It's Halloween party. But then when they get there, it's like a Christmas thing around your house. You have the Christmas tree up and everything. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> and you're like ready to go. And you're like, so I bought these laptops. You each have your own. We, we're going to just shop on Amazon all night and make spooky jokes. But we're going to Christmas shop for real, though. We need spooky to Christmas sure jokes. <laughs> yeah. Which, honestly, one of my favorite movies it's called is Krampus. It, uh, it came out like a few years ago. Mm -hmm. There might have been other ones, but like Krampus was really good. It was like kind of campy. It was funny, but it was scary too. Mm -hmm. It was lit. Yeah, that sounds super lit. Like the the um the toys would like they came to life and they tried to kill you. Well, I mean that's just what happens whenever I uh, have someone over. <laughs> the toys come to life and they try to kill you. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, oh, God, I'm sorry. I just wanted to hang out. But, like, the the toys are trying to kill me again. Like, I swear they don't do this when no one else is around. But, um, <laughs> sorry, we're going to have to reschedule. <laughs> You're like, sorry I have to cancel the plans for today. But my dildo is trying to fucking kill me to death. Dude, that sounds like the perfect campy horror movie. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> the serial killer dildo. <laughs> for real, though. There's one that uh, my sisters and I watched a long time ago called The Evil Bong. I think I've I never watched it, but I've I know about it. 
Yeah, like I think the idea is like if you smoke weed from the bong, like from the evil bong, like it sucks you into like a little strip club on the inside of the bong. And so like one of their friends had to like go in and save all their other friends from inside the bong. What a creative movie. <laughs> I don't know if you're being sarcastic or not. No, it, it is. It's very creative. Yeah, it's a fun little idea. It's very campy. I mean, at least it's not, um, oh, there's a guy with a knife trying to kill us right now. Oh, there's a guy with a knife and he's fucking cooking up vegetables. <laughs> this isn't a horror movie. This is just the Food Network. <laughs> <laughs> this is just fucking Barbra Streisand cooking fajitas for us. <laughs> yeah, Barbra Streisand. <laughs> Thanks, Babs. These these fajitas, they're they're hot. These are some hot fajitas. <laughs> Yeah, just kidding. This isn't the Halloween episode anymore. This is the Food the, the <laughs> Food Network the... episode. <laughs> yeah. It's featuring special guest Ina Garten. <laughs> I don't know who that is. Yeah, she she has a show on there called The Barefoot Contessa, and she like lives in the fucking Hamptons, and she's like one of the richest people fucking ever. And um, she makes these like really lavish meals, and her she has a husband, Jeffrey, who fucking works at Yale or whatever, and he's never home. And the only thing that's holding their marriage together is uh, Barefoot Contessa. <laughs> that's probably not true. That's probably very true. It's probably close to that. <laughs> or she just doesn't actually have a husband at all. Like Jeffrey was never real to begin with? Yeah. Like, here's the thing. She probably pitched this show, but she had the money. So she just kind of just was like, I'll just pay for the show. You guys just have to air it. And they were like, well, this is a great show. But like, I think we should, you know make you have a husband in the show but he's never there spooky the husband was <laughs> never there so spooky Ooh. <laughs> that, that i mean that honestly i can relate to that it sounds like it's my entire life to be honest oh yeah i've i've never had a husband be there you but you at the same time you have 17 husbands <laughs> yeah but they're never there no they're never there <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking all, mood all my husbands are never they've never been seen even by me but they're there <laughs> it's like this, uh <laughs> there's like a t-shirt that was kind of in vogue for a while it was like a dinosaur it was looking really sad and it said all my friends are dead <laughs> all my husbands are never there and it's just a picture of you and you're sad <laughs> i wish that'd be cool t-shirt yeah it's dude like crying <gasps> Dude, yeah, some Strawberry Boys merch. All my husbands are never there. <laughs> and it's just it's just both of us crying. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like one tear. I love that. I love <laughs> that be, idea, actually. That would be cute. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Especially, like, you know what would be cool is, like, if it was just, like, little and it was, like, a bunch all over. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That'd be cute. Yeah, a bunch of, a bunch of little us is being sad. Who doesn't yeah. love that? Who doesn't love being sad? <laughs> yeah, who doesn't love watching other people be sad? Exactly. It's like one of my favorite things to do. Yes. So so now that fall is in full swing and the spooky season is among us. Um, do you have any uh do you have any fall traditions or any spooky Halloween traditions you like to do? Um definitely like well of course everyone does this, but like carving pumpkins is a lot of fun. Especially with, like, friends that you could just do weird shit with. Like, you could just draw a dick in the pumpkin and that could be your jack o' lantern <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like, I feel like that's a hacky thing, but, like, it could be very fun. Like, stuff like that would be so much fun. Um, when I was younger, uh, back in the day. It's been 84 years. It's been 84 years. I had my own YouTube channel. And, uh. I recorded this video with my brother and his friend, who was also my friend. It's like a family friend. Um, and we recorded this video of us carving pumpkins. And it's one of my favorite videos to watch, like, every Halloween. Cause just because it, rem- it reminds me of those times. Mm-hmm. And it was just so much fun to record, and it was so funny. There, Like, there was one point where um, me and my friend, we started, we started hitting the pumpkin, like, making a beat with the pumpkins. <laughs> Uh-huh. And we like tried to rap a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. So my brother my brother was a scene kid. He was like yes. very scene. He had like the hair and everything. And uh 
He drew a stick figure of himself with the hair and the eyes. And at one point, he just put the picture that he drew in front of the camera and just made it dance around while we were beating on the pumpkins. Because <laughs> <laughs> he was recording it for us, so it was fun. That sounds like so much fun. Yeah, I would love to do that again. That would be so much mm-hmm. fun. It's like 10 years later. Yeah, look at look at what we're doing now. We're making dicks on pumpkins. Look at me now, mom. <laughs> My mom actually fucking loved that shit, though. Like, Yeah, oh no, I'm sure your mom is very proud of you. <laughs> okay, is that a backhanded compliment? <laughs> no, that was legit. I'm sure she's very proud of you. I'm sure your mom's very proud of you. I mean, <laughs> I did not mean it as like a like a sassy, like oh, I'm sure your mom's real proud of you, <laughs> Mister Dick Pumpkin. Exactly. What are your um? Do you have any Halloween things that you do? Not really. Like I always like making hot chocolate when it gets cold. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and so now that I have like a bigger kitchen, like I can really get into the the hot chocolate making business. You're going to make a little table and set it out front of your apartment and, like, sell hot chocolate to people. Yeah, exactly. All the people that pass by my apartment on the <laughs> fucking, yeah. The one person? Yeah, all the, all the one people. <laughs> You're like, would you like some hot chocolate today? And they just completely ignore me. Like, they, they're like, I don't, you don't exist. Then, like, the seventh time they buy one, and after that, they're like, are you done yet? Yeah. Wait hey, a second. Hey, go ahead. Are you gay? <laughs> are you gay? I can't buy hot chocolate from a gay person. Okay, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. What were you saying? Um, and then uh, my friends back home, they would always have like big parties on every holiday, right? Mm-hmm. And so uh, for a couple of years, like they would have costume parties, mm-hmm. and I uh, had threw together some uh, costumes that were super fun. Um, so one year I went with, uh, my ex Jim and he had like a little Frankenstein hat and I went as Freddie Mercury. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, it was super cute. Like it was like a very simple costume. Like it was just like all white. Can we show the people the pictures? Yeah, we can put it up on screen. Yeah. It'd be lit. Yeah. Super lit. The only pictures I have in costumes is when I was a kid. I never have actually done a. Did you do costumes when you, you've never done costumes when you were an adult? No. Oh my god, dude, it's so fun. Yeah, it sounds fun, but I just have never done it. Mm-hmm, I feel that. But I want to. So here's here's um me and Jim and the uh Freddie Mercury costume. Oh my god, you look insanely different. I know, right? It's back before I had the Mohawk. Yeah, I think that's the biggest like you look different completely altogether just because I think it's just the beard and the hair. Yeah, yeah, you didn't know me before I was like, well, I think I clean shaved for that outfit because Freddie Mercury yeah. only had the mustache. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I already had those like white pants laying around. It's cute. Thank you. Yeah, and then uh, here's another one where uh, I did David Bowie one year, and my sister helped make the lightning oh, bolt on my that. eyes. We love that. That's like one of my favorite costumes. That's fire flames. <laughs> fire flames. Through the Fire and the Flames, we carry on. Yeah. Yeah, famously a David Bowie song, Through the Fire and Flames. (laughs) That's my favorite Queen song. That's my favorite Queen song is Through the Fire and Flames. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But yeah, those are like the main like traditions. Just like hanging out with my friends and dressing up in costumes. Yeah. Yeah, kind of same here. Except except not any of those things and completely different things. (laughs) Except for I didn't do shit since I was thirteen. Mm-hmm. You're you're too old for it now. Halloween's for babies, and I'm an adult. <laughs> I'm a big growing boy. That's not facts, but yes. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> those are my those are not my feelings, but <laughs> I just never had the right friends for that at that moment in time. Mm-hmm. Like now, I feel like I could definitely like hanging out with you or like other people. Yeah, but no, I think that we could have a lot of fun, like, with our group, and, like, oh, everyone yeah. dresses, dresses up in costumes, and we all make pumpkins. That'd be so much fun. I would oh, love man, to do that. I fucking love that. that <laughs> we just said the same thing, almost. That'd be so much fun, though. It'd be so cool. Yeah, it totally would. Yeah, I'm excited, even though it's not happening. 
<laughs> yeah, I'm excited for this thing that's not going to happen. Rip. Um, do you ever go to haunted houses? Yes. 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 I don't know if I believe you. Wait, so is it a yes or no? <laughs> yes. Okay, okay. Okay, so I've been to, like, the theme park haunted houses where you go to, like, there's one at, like, Six Flags. I uh, forget what it's called. So they have, like, a bunch of these haunted houses. And they had one that was a clown one that I remember vividly. And uh, the last room that you went into, there was this box in the middle. And you're just, like, everyone stood around the box. And this fucking clown jumped out of the box. And it fucking jumped at you because he had a harness on. But mm-hmm. that was fucking mm-hmm. wild. But Nashville actually has some of the best haunted houses in the country. Oh, yeah? They have this area now. Um, if you go, like, I think it's called, like, Nashville Horror Nights or something. hmm But, like, there's this area where there's, like, five of the best haunted houses. So I'm thinking about going to them, because I went to some of them a few years ago with my friend Jonathan. hmm And they were crazy. They were so good. There was one point where there's, like, this maze, but, like, you would lose people, kind of, because they would switch it. Like, they would switch a door in front of you. <gasps> Oh my god, are you serious? Yeah, they would switch a door in front of you. And then you'd have to turn around and go back. That sucks! I hate that! (laughs) It was so good, though. It was so scary. That's such a cool idea, yeah. Because it's like you're walking around and you're like, oh my god, there's going to be something fucked up around every single corner. And then the fucking, the wall just goes in front of you and you're like, okay, uh, I guess I'm turning around now. (laughs) Yeah, I guess I'm fucking done here. (laughs) Right? It was wild. It was really good. It was scary. I want to go to some before Halloween. My sister works at a haunted house, and it looks super fun. I always wanted to work in a haunted house. Mm-hmm. It looks like so much fun, like you said. Yeah, it's like built out of a, uh, like it used to be an old, like, sanitarium. And Ooh. they, like, repurpose, like, they, they, like, keep it the same, but it's like, they'll do, like, paranormal night tours. And then yeah. they'll also, during Halloween, they do the haunted house. And so they'll, like, take, like, a section of it and they'll build a haunted house through it. And um, I'm always, like, too spooked out by it because, like, I don't – I'm not good with, like, horror stuff. Like, I am too – like, I, I get scared too easily. <laughs> like, one time uh, I went with our friend Matt and, like, literally the whole time I was like, I need your hand. I'm holding your hand the whole way through this because I can't fucking deal with this because I'm so scared. Yeah, they can get scary. I uh, I always make someone else go first. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Like you get you go first. You're fine. You're you're doing great. I'll be right behind you, holding your shirt, just so we don't get lost. <laughs> of course, yeah. You don't want them to get lost. Of course. <laughs> there was like at, in that same uh, hollow, that same haunted house that we went to. There's one point where there's like these like balloons that just like it kind of squeezed together. Honestly, honestly, it was like felt like you're walking through like a uh airy pussy i don't know (laughs) like it felt like you're walking between two balloons Uh uh-huh right you had to kind of you kind of had to push through it right i know what you mean i've I've had this before where it's like it like compresses you in and you have to like (laughs) yeah yeah. so that he was like you need to go first and i was like no but i did go first and i was like every i was like because you couldn't see anything because it was black you couldn't see anything so like my hand was reaching out and i was like where like, waiting to get out the other side. And I knew as soon as I got out the other side, someone's going to be fucking right there to kill me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> but nobody was there, so thank God. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. No one was there. Surprise, surprise. I was so, I was, like, so scared. Though. I was like, I know someone's going to pop out as soon as I get out of this bitch, and I'm going to die. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have a <laughs> fucking heart attack. <laughs> and you're going to feel so bad for making me go first. <laughs> <laughs> well look at that egg on your face huh i'm fucking dead <laughs> now i'm gonna be part of the haunted house because i'm a ghost <laughs> dude why have the uh, speaking of ghosts like why are there never ghosts of like animals or like people from like a long ass time ago it's always like victorian people but it's never like you know someone who speaks like fucking indo-european or something like that I don't know what the fuck Indo-European is, first of all. It's like an old, it's a, it's an old language that like all of the languages, most of the languages in Europe and some across like Southeast Asia are. Is it a dead language? Uh, yes. Yeah. 
So it's like, it's, huh. it's like you know how Latin evolved into, uh, like, French and Spanish and Portuguese? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's mm-hmm. kind of the same thing of, like, Proto-Indo-European evolved into literally all the languages now. Like, all the all the Romance languages, like English, German, um, like, Russian, uh, Indian languages, Persian. So yeah, why, isn't, why don't ghosts speak that? <laughs> why don't they speak that? That's because they only speak boo. They only speak boo. Hey, boo. <laughs> exactly. Like, every, all the ghosts are just trying to find a husband or wife. Hey, boo. Yeah, but, um, <laughs> but like you, the husband's never there. <laughs> the husband's never there, just like me. Thanks, David. Thanks for remind, reminding me again. Dude, I just, dude, it's okay, <laughs> you know? Some of us can't have our 14 husbands around us every day like me, and that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Like, you know, some people are just meant to live sad lives, and that's okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm glad it's not Valentine's Day, because I would be crying right now. Oh, yeah, this would be very bad for the for the Valentine's <laughs> Day episode. <laughs> this is this is the anti-Valentine's Day episode. <laughs> <laughs> Which is also going to be the Valentine's Day episode when we're both still single forever. Rip. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not that we're single. It's like we have all of our husbands, but uh, we just need them present with us. Yeah, not hiding in closets and shit. Yeah. Who the fuck would hide in a closet? <laughs> Couldn't be me. And record a podcast. <laughs> I have a question for you. What's up? So, like, what's the spookiest thing you've ever done? Like, what? Have you, like, done anything wild where, like, so, like, there was times, like, when I was a kid, we would go to, like, an abandoned, like, bar in the desert. Like, there was this one bar. I forget what it was called. But it was abandoned. And it had, like, a fence around it. But we drove up there. And we were like, we're going to go inside and check it out. And we did. And I was like, it was kind of creepy. Like, did you do anything like that? or? Oh, I did something real spooky, all right. I got up oh. before 9 a.m. without my coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, well. <laughs> Sorry. No, um, so spooky things. Uh, I feel like I've, you know, visited abandoned places before. And I love hanging out in cemeteries because they're, like, very peaceful. Like, I don't find them to be very spooky. I think they're very peaceful. That's fucking weird and spooky in itself. Really? You think so? We need to, we need to unpack, we need to unpack that. That's a whole issue. So my thing about cemeteries is that I think that they're very peaceful and very beautiful. You know, we have all these kind of like statues and these little headstones that we erect to like commemorate people. But over time with QR codes, yeah, with the QR codes, get your get your uh, QR code um, grave gravestone at (laughs) strawberryboys.com slash QR code (laughs) gravestone now, please. Smiley face emoji. Um, <laughs> Smiley face emoji. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, you know, we make these things in an attempt to kind of like immortalize these people. But really, you know, it's kind of a testament to the futility of like, you know, resisting nature. And, uh, you know, because all of these things like they, they give away to like weathering and they become like covered in like moss and lichens and it just kind of becomes like consumed by nature. And I think that, you know, this idea that the things that we have are so ephemeral and so like impermanent gives them a lot more value. And uh, I just think that's beautiful. Nature's beautiful sometimes. Nature's beautiful sometimes. <laughs> I almost said, like, welcome to the Nerd Boy podcast. Yeah, welcome to the fucking pretentious nerd podcast. <laughs> no, that was really interesting, though. I didn't have really thought about that. But do they, like, grow moss when they're in the box? I don't know. I don't know if it, like, grows into the... I imagine, like, a lot of coffins, like, unless they're, you know, they're, like, cheaper. Like, there's roots, though. Like, roots probably go through that shit. Maybe, Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't, I guess they, like, build it so that nothing can, like, get through. But, I mean, that shit breaks through concrete. So, it's, like, you can only do so much <laughs> if you're, like, right next to a tree. They have to make that shit out of some t- kind of crazy, like, titanium, like, metal shit. I want my casket to ma- be made out of diamonds. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's just bejeweled, bedazzled or whatever. 
Yeah. And it's also bejeweled because like you can play the game bejeweled while you're in the <laughs> while you're in the while coffin. you're dead. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like that's how they keep the zombies from getting out. They just yeah. put a, an iPad in front of them. <laughs> They're all occupied with bejeweled and like candy crush. <laughs> You know how when you're fucking watching YouTube and um, you have all those ads for stuff like Raid Shadow Legends and shit and those other, like, shitty mobile games? Well, it turns out that that's not for, like, humans. That's just for the zombies to, like, give them more things to do and distract them with more games. Facts. Big facts. <laughs> what if we found out that the uh, Russian bots were actually just zombies in America? <laughs> Dude, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> zombies are real <laughs> zombies are so real um so one of the spookiest things i've ever done is i ghost rode the whip i ghost ride the whip have you ever ghost rode the whip i know i've heard of it but i don't know what it means so it's like it's i mean so what you do is you take your car and you like put it in just drive and you get out of it and you play music really loud and then you dance right beside it oh yeah okay that's what it's called it's called ghost riding the whip Mm -hmm. so (laughs) when it first became a popular thing when i was younger me and my friends used to do it all (laughs) just because we were like we just need to ghost ride the whip today Mm -hmm. so we it's on the schedule (laughs) we'd go out to like a dirt road or like a road where nobody was really driving down and we'd put the car in drive We'd get out, mm-hmm. turn the music up loud, and we just go ride the whip. And like, how did that go? Like, was it successful? Yeah, it was fun. That's super like, lit. You, I'm you just sure dance, that was super like, fun. Someone would dance, 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 dance alongside the car, and then they would jump back in when we were done, and we'd just go. And you're like, okay, we're fun. done. It was spooky. The ghost is done driving. Very spooky. Is, I'm sure it was very, very spooky, spooky, scary. <laughs> very spooky, scary. <laughs> <laughs> It was fun. Yeah. So, do you ever, like, get into cryptids? Um, I love a nice chupacabra, like I said. Um, <laughs> a nice chupacabra. That's, like, one of my favorite ones, because nobody really talks about it. Mm-hmm. He's underrated. He's an underrated queen. <laughs> he is. He is. Like, nobody talks about chupacabra that much. But, like, I think it's the most realistic one. Mm-hmm. How do you feel about them? Um, well, in, (laughs) I don't, I've never seen a cryptid. I don't really know anything about it. I know that, um, the Mothman is really big in West Virginia. Like apparently there's a Mothman statue in West Virginia that a lot of my friends have, uh, taken pictures with. Um, I've heard about Mothman. Yeah. Like, it's creepy. Yeah. He's very creepy. Yeah. And whenever I like, like when I drive around at night, like I get like, like on back roads, I get really creepy, intrusive thoughts about stuff like that. Yeah, me too, same. Yeah, where, like, I'll just imagine, like, oh, my God, like, what if I just, like, turn around the corner and there's just, like, a fucking, like, creature in, that I've never seen yeah. in the middle of the road? And it's like... <laughs> what would I do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hate it. I can't fucking stand it. <laughs> yeah, I get that. Yeah, or just, like, what if I'm just driving along and then all of a sudden something just, like, fucking darts out into the road? Yeah, I get that 100% because, like... Well, I also, I think they had a bunch of, like, uh, Mothman sightings in chicago like oh he's moved um, he's moved <laughs> he's moved to the north the midwest he's on to bigger and better things <laughs> he's trying to get to california <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> he's just hitchhiking his way to california <laughs> <laughs> yeah like he's not even like a bad guy at all he's just like you know guys i'm just trying to like get a ride like i mean i don't mean to be rude but like come on <laughs> I'm not asking for a lot here exactly there's a there's a really good uh sorry there's a really good sign that i've seen like hung out in front of like people's yards it says um in this house we believe bigfoot is real i am going to kiss him he will be my lover i will be the little spoon me and bigfoot will fuck and you can't stop us i love that yeah i love that energy that's my next tattoo <laughs> And then another one I see a lot is uh, Bigfoot is real and he tried to eat my ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's just the last guy you had sex with, to be honest. Yeah. Large, hairy men. 
<laughs> yeah, Bigfoot is like literally my type. <laughs> Same. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Uh a few months ago I was chatting with some of my uh class like my, my classmates from uh, school. And uh, I was talking to them about like relationship issues that I was having, and they were like, "Oh, you you you'll find someone like you know like all that kind of stuff." And one of them mentioned like he like was like, "Your type is Appalachian mountain man like aesthetic, but into nerd shit." <laughs> and I'm like, "Yeah, that makes that sense. is yeah, it's like that is frighteningly close. That like that is frighteningly accurate." <laughs> You're like, can you read? Can you read my mind right now? <laughs> yeah, like, how did you? Like, I don't see how you like pinned that down so easily. But it's like that is like I never thought about it, but that is like a hundred percent what it is. <laughs> I can see it. Yeah. What yeah. Ba- basically, Bigfoot, but uh, like uh, adjusted to society and is into fucking D and D. Basically, a fucking Bigfoot who went to college but also plays video games. About, like, Zelda and shit, and also loves tabletop games. Yeah, Zelda of Zelda fame. <laughs> Zelda of Zelda fame? Yeah. It's Zelda is not the main character? No. <laughs> Zelda of Zelda Ze- fame. Yeah, Zelda of Link. <laughs> Why didn't they call the game Link? Why did they call it Zelda? Well, it's the, it's the legend of Zelda. Apparently the legends are all about her. Yeah, but what about Link? Yeah, Link is the guy who's like actually doing all the work. She's just some like fucking rich like yeah, she's person who gets like stolen. It's, it's like basically kidnapped. like the story of uh, Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. Do you think that they they modeled the Legend of Zelda games after Kim and Kanye's relationship? <laughs> yeah, because like <laughs> Kim Kardashian just got famous and she just like did nothing to do it like she just got there she did stuff like they made the right moves but like and then kanye he grew up he's he was a he was a young child he grew up in chicago he had to fucking make his way up Mm -hmm. and then he went crazy and then he went crazy and now kim is cool (laughs) and now kim everyone loves kim because of snl yeah dude that was that was a great monologue like she fucking killed it she did kill it she murdered that bitch (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> um i was gonna say something i was gonna say mm. sorry i didn't mean to to pile drive your uh your spooky thing yeah you pile drive my asshole Ew. oh just like bigfoot <laughs> just like bigfoot same says <laughs> while you think about it can i read you a spooky story I want you to, but I also will not think about it. But yeah, go ahead. Okay, it's very short. Let's hear a speaky, a speaky, a spooky story. All right, here we go. You ready? By Dave David Cumbucket Cumhead. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So, man and girl go out to drive under moonlight. They stop at on at a side of road. He turned to his girl <laughs> and say. Baby, I love you very much. What is it, honey? Our car is broken down. I think the engine is broken. I'll walk and get some more fuel. Okay, I'll stay here and look after our stereo. There have been news report of Stires being stolen. Good (laughs) idea. Keep the doors locked no matter what. I love you, sweaty. (laughs) So the guy left to get full for the car. (laughs) After two hours, the girls say, Where is my baby? He was supposed to be back by now. Then the girl hear a scratching sound and voice say, Let me in. The girl doesn't do it, and then after a while, she goes to sleep. The next morning, she wakes up and finds her boyfriend still not there. She gets up to check, and man door hand hook car door! What the fuck? <laughs> no, what the fuck? <laughs> Did you like that? Can you, can you just repeat the last line one more time, please? She gets out to check and man door hand hook car door. <laughs> oh my god, I'm fucking dead. Cannot. <laughs> Someone tried to like reimagine the um the spooky like uh 
something about a hook in a in the in a car door story. I don't know the original, but I I only know it through this story. <laughs> so good, love it. We love that. We love it, dude. Yeah, I did. Oh, I've got a, I got another one for you. This one's a real head scratcher. This one's even shorter. Okay. So you're with your honey and you're making out when the phone riggins. You answer it and the voice is, what are you doing with my daughter? You tell your girl and she say, my dad is dead. Then who was phone? <laughs> is that it? That's it, yeah. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> I cannot. I love these awful, <laughs> scary stories. They're so funny. Um, well, I forgot what I was going to say, so... I'm sorry. I know you don't watch a lot of movies, but, what, like, what's your favorite scary movie? My favorite scary movie? So, yeah, I'm not a big fan of horror. I do enjoy psychological horror. I think that's, like, the most interesting. But uh, my favorite is this movie called Oculus. Oh, that's a good movie. Oh, you've seen it? Is it the mirror one? Yeah, the mirror one, dude. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah um, it's good. Yeah. So for people who don't know, it's this movie about these two siblings and they inherit this mirror from their dad and the mirror kind of gaslights you and it makes you go insane. And so the whole movie is kind of revolving around this concept of what is real and what is not. Like literally in one of the first scenes, they like set up a whole bunch of cameras to face towards this mirror to make sure they can like catch it doing crazy shit. And in the middle of setting up all the cameras, they get into a big argument. And when they finish up the argument, they're like, oh, my God, everything is like, go like fixed up. We need to we need to investigate. We need to see what's going on with it. And so they go back and rewatch the footage that they just took. And they were reorganizing all the cameras while they were having the argument. And um, I don't know, shit like that freaks me out. Like the idea of, you know, yeah. you don't know what's real. Like that is like a, a particular phobia of mine is like nothing that I experience is like real. Yeah, dude, sucks Sucks that you're going to get dementia. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Tyler. It's very encouraging. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. Yeah, of course. <laughs> what about you? What are some of your uh, favorite horror movies? Um hard i like a lot um like one of my favorite horror movies that is like a comedy horror movie is thanks killing <laughs> yes yes it's so bad but and also fucking funny as shit mm -hmm. it's um it's about a turkey that kills people <laughs> <laughs> and he yeah he says like a lot a lot of like raunchy shit throughout the movie like Talking about fucking these guys' girlfriends and stuff. And then he also is like, when he kills somebody, he'll be like, gobble, gobble, motherfuckers. Oh my fucking god. So that's one of my favorite movies. It's so bad. I love it. Yeah, um, I'm trying to think of like a real legit one, though. Oh, Creep. I don't know Creep. Creep, you need to watch Creep. Um, It's kind of, it's easy to explain, but it's hard to explain. So it's like this guy rents out um, a room in his house. The guy wants someone to come up and film his, like, his last days alive or whatever. So he finds somebody on, like, Craigslist, and they come up to the cabin, and they are filming the whole thing. And throughout the thing, the guy becomes creepier and creepier. Like, mm -hmm. he just acts weirder and weirder. And he ends up killing the dude. <gasps> It, but it's like you have to watch it. It's so good. There's two of them. There's Creep and there's Creep Two. Yeah, I kind of want to see that. That sounds like really interesting. They're both on Netflix. It's really good. I recommend you watch it. Everybody watch it. Should we watch some creepy movies? We should watch Creep. Do you want to watch Creep tonight? Let's watch Creep right now. Okay, let's go. Let's fucking do it. Bet. All right. Yeah. Fuck this podcast. I'm done with <laughs> yeah, this. We're done with this podcast. Fuck this podcast. It's over. I'm never recording another episode anyway. Oh well. Okay. Well, rest in rest in peace, Tyler. I hope that your uh your podcast gets a good QR grave. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining us on the Spookberry Boys podcast. You know what's even spookier?
<laughs> What's up here? Following us on our new Facebook page. Ooh. That's so spooky. Super, super spooky, dude. <laughs> so I think the spookiest stuff that you could do right now is follow us on our new Facebook. It's spooky. Just only for like a few more weeks. <laughs> and then it's not spooky anymore. <laughs> and then it's thankful. <laughs> Welcome to the thankful boys. <laughs> and then it's also my birthday month. So Ooh. Send me gifts. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just fucking check out our YouTube, check out our RSS feed or fucking Spotify or whatever, I don't know. I'm not a fucking <laughs> I don't fucking know. I don't work here. <laughs> I don't work here. I don't even know this place. I'm not <laughs> even here right now. I'm a ghost. Right, of course, yeah. You're <laughs> Dude, if you are if you have an incorporeal form, you've got to follow us on our RSS feed. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Actually, real quick, one more thing. Uh, tell us what your Halloween costume is. Yeah, tell us about your Halloween. We'd be very yeah. interested to read. That would be interesting. Yeah, I want to know what everyone's doing for their Halloween costume this year. Yeah, I love that. David's going to be a cornflake. Don't. To spoil my costume, Tyler. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right. Have a good one, y'all. Bye. 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 Woo. Bye. 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 <laughs>